How to fail successfully. Isn't it amazing that with God and His love and His mercy, we can fail forward in life. Even after failing or making a mistake, we can still go forward and we can experience His restoration. But today I want to talk to you about putting things into perspective. I really believe sometimes we need perspective in life, especially towards our mistakes and shortcomings. And we need to realize there's a big difference between a temporary setback and a total failure. And many times the devil loves to um, just amplify our mistakes and to magnify them. But sometimes we just need to put it into perspective. And what I do sometimes when I feel guilty or ashamed for past mistakes, I imagine my mistakes in a boxing ring with the blood of Jesus. And the good news is the blood of Jesus will always knock our mistakes and sins out in the first round. So sometimes we just need to put it into perspective. One of the instructors at Caris Bible College, Craig Moore, always says, value the cross greater than your pain and your loss. And I believe we need to do the same with our mistakes. We need to value the cross and the blood of Jesus and what He did for us more than our own mistakes. And I believe it will help us to fail successfully in life. The Bible tells us in Psalm 37, verse 23 to 24, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Then verse 24 tells us, Though we fall, though we make a mistake, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. So put your mistakes, your shortcomings into perspective today. And remember, the grace of God and the mercy of God is so much bigger than any of your mistakes. You are highly favored and deeply loved.